autoimmune hepatitis. Itis means inflammation. Hepato means liver. Autoimmune meaning the pathogenesis of the disease will have immunological reason. So it's inflammation, liver inflammation has immunological origin and we'll have jaundice, acne, amenorrhea, more common in female as we'll see. So chronic inflammation of the liver leading to necrosis with fibrosis, maybe cirrhosis or even liver failure autoimmune conditions so it will be associated with other autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Graves disease, lupus. That's why the previous name of this condition was lupoid hepatitis. Why? Due to lupus. What's the pathophysiology of this condition? We start with an antigen that will be recognized by antigen presenting cells that will present the antigen to the T lymphocytes, specifically the T helper CD4 positive leukocyte. Then we'll take it and start attacking the hepatocyte by different mechanisms. So this process involves a human leukocytic antigen DR3 and 4. A, B, and C are MHC class 1. However, D is class 2. And remember, class 2 will interact with CD4. There is a mnemonic. The product is always equals 8. So 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 2 equals 8. The result, the product, is always 8. But remember, MHC class 1 interact with CD8. So 1 times 8 equals 8. The result always equals 8. That's just a mnemonic way to remember it. So hepatocyte will get attacked through different mechanisms started by the CD4 cells, inflammation, then necrosis, maybe fibrosis, and liver cell failure. This is autoimmune hepatitis. Clinically speaking, autoimmune hepatitis is very similar to viral hepatitis, okay? By the way, people with viral hepatitis, self-limited hepatitis A, for example, are at increased risk of developing autoimmune hepatitis for an unknown reason. So, it's important to do some lab tests. What are the symptoms clinically? As viral hepatitis, we will have jaundice. But here we will have some acne and amenorrhea for an unknown reason. Also, we will have arthralgia. My joints are killing me. Arthralgia is joint pain. Arthro, joint, algia, pain. Let's go to the lab. Okay, we'll have some antibodies in the blood, such as ANA, anti-nuclear antibodies also anti-smooth muscle antibodies, anti-liver kidney microsome, also known as anti-LKM antibodies. Since it's a hepatitis or an inflammation, the liver enzymes will increase. The liver is being cooked. So we'll have increase of the liver transaminases. Also, in severe cases, when the, the factory is broken and destroyed, the clotting factors will decrease because they are made in the factory, in the liver. So that will increase the prothrombin time. The albumin will decrease because the source of albumin is the liver and the liver is now being damaged. What's the treatment? Corticosteroids you can add as a thioprene. In severe cases you can use two different steroids plus as a thioprene or any other immunosuppressive medicines. Also remember, any patient, it's a general rule, any patient with any chronic liver condition should get immunized against Hep A and Hep B. There is no vaccine for Hep C until this moment. Okay, so immunize any patient with any chronic liver disease against Hep A and Hep B viruses and autoimmune hepatitis is 
no exception. Last result, resort, of course, is liver transplant. Get him a new liver. Remember, the mechanism is immunological. It's probably due to something called molecular mimicry. Okay, the antigen in the liver is similar to another antigen that the blood cells hate. So they are confused. They think that this antigen is the similar as this one. It's called molecular mimicry. That's it. Autoimmune hepatitis. Please subscribe for new videos and see you in the next video. Thank you for listening.